right, so there's this guy named Walter Rostow, and he was sitting around his office one day analyzing the international trade model, and he decided that there were five stages to this model, and that each country will go through one of the stages along the way. His first stage was the traditional stage. This was an agricultural-based society. It's where you do bartering, where you trade vegetables for animals, and you didn't really use cash. America in the uh, early to mid-1700s would have been here. Now, there's nobody like that today. There's no one country like that. We still see some groups out there like that, but pretty much everybody's moved beyond this traditional stage. So let's go ahead and take a look at stage two. Stage two of this model is called preconditions to take off. It's just before a country is going to start going into this huge economic boom. It's where specialization starts. It's where a country starts seeing that they can be really good at specific things and they focus in on it. This is where they start investing in uh, infrastructure and technologies that can help them on the trade market. Usually it's because they have a surplus. As soon as they get a surplus, then they can start trading it off. This was America in the late 1700s going into the early 1800s. And when we look for somebody today, we would say sub-Saharan African countries would fit into this part of the model. The third stage of Rostow's model is called takeoff. This is where we start seeing industrialization hit a country. Their economy is booming like crazy. So a lot of workers are gonna start leaving the agricultural rural countryside, moving to the cities, looking for these industrial jobs that paid them a lot more. Because they were making a lot more money, they had extra money, which then also helped that part of the economy. They were spending this money. America in the late 1800s going into the 1900s would be in this stage. Today, we would kind of compare it to where China is at with their economy going through a boom. Our fourth stage in Rostow's model is called drive to maturity. This is where urbanization is really becoming a fundamental part of the society. Factories are well settled in. Technology is starting to diffuse into factories and outside of factories throughout society. Innovation is becoming the key. How do you make something quicker and faster and cheaper? The United States from the 1920s to the 1960s would be here. Uh, today, we would see South Korea and the other Asian tigers would be in this uh, part of the model. Stage five of Rostow's model is called age of mass consumption. This is the stage where you're really designing things and selling them rather than making them. So you're designing the computer, you're designing the car. You're not making the computer and making the steel for the car. And then you're selling those products. You have a lot of stores. You also go through a lot of consumables. I mean, think about the name, age of mass consumption. You're consuming things in mass in a lot of qualities and then just kind of tossing them out. When we're talking about countries, we're talking about Japan, the United States, Canada, Western European nations like the United Kingdom, France, and Germany would fit into here. So when we're talking about Rostow's model through all the stages, countries are going to be in each one of these stages at some point. Most countries want to work their way through these stages, but they don't always get to stage five. They may not always make it to that stage five as they settle in on certain stages.